We are the global Formula Racing Team. Our team competes in the Formula Student, an international motorsport competition for students. We are a German-American team with students from the Cooperative State University in Ravensburg and the Oregon State University, building up together two racing cars each year, one powered by a combustion, one by two electric motors. Both electric motors are controlled with an inverter which sets the torque commands. These commands are calculated with our vehicle dynamic control system that consists mainly of the following components traction control, recuperation and finally torque vectoring. Model driven software development in MATLAB Simulink were used to develop these control systems. Let's go further into detail. How do we use these control systems and what does it mean for our car? To communicate with the car, sensors, motor controllers and the battery we are using three different CAN channels. All data about the battery and application parameters of the controllers can be found on the vehicle CAN. The communication with the car running on track works over Wi-Fi. This allows us to directly communicate with the model while the car is on track and therefore fast and valuable controller application can be done. On the sensor CAN, all CAN messages of the sensors e.g. yaw rate, build speed, acceleration, steering angle, brake pressure are received. These values are needed for the calculations of the input parameters for the different controllers. The motor controller CAN is a direct interface to the two motor controllers, which control the demanded torque to the motors. A tire transfers most force during a certain slip. Therefore, we want to control the slip. As you can see in the video, no traction control causes the tires to spin. We lose time and energy if the tires spin too much without moving the car. As you can see in the split screen, the PED controller provides a regulated torque, which is subtracted from the driver demand torque. In consequence, the slip will be reduced and the tires can transfer the power again to the track. To go as fast as possible while accelerating out of a corner, the traction control regulates the torque. Because of the missing differential, a real individual traction control is needed. Recuperation now let's have a closer look at recuperation. To increase the driving range of our car as well as lowering its weight, we use a battery with a lower capacity. This is possible because of regenerative braking, which means that we are recharging the battery with the car's kinetic energy while braking. During braking, the control system calculates an additional electric brake torque. This electric brake torque is added to the mechanical torque. While accelerating, the motors take the energy out of the battery. In this case, the recuperation control system is not active torque vectoring. Our car needs to be as fast as possible by driving curves. To achieve more agility and driver control with our car, our approach was to implement a torque vectoring strategy. The drivers in the Formula Student are not professional, so they need cars that are easy to handle and respond quickly to the driver inputs. For that reason we want to use torque vectoring to have a more linear behavior of the car. Our torque vectoring consists of the following main parts. The desired value generator calculates out of the current vehicle movement and the driver requests the desired vehicle movement. The desired values and the actual sensor signals like yaw rate, car velocity are inputs for a PID controller that calculates an additional yaw moment which is transferred to the wheels by controlling the two motors individually. In the dynamic diagram you can see that the regulated torque vectoring torque adds or subtracts torque to the torque on the wheels. In conclusion you can see the resulting yaw rate and the aim yaw rate of the desired value generator. Now we would like to go into detail how MATLAB Simulink helps our team. A program that allows us to visualize programming saves time and energy to develop control systems. Furthermore, developing our control system with a rapid prototyping control unit and MATLAB Simulink allows us to easily change the system under the usage of the standard blocks out of the Simulink library. Our team consists of one to three year and graduate students of two universities in different technical and non-technical careers. To ensure the same level of knowledge, we need to transfer it in the most easy and understandable way possible. Because of the visualization, the designer of the software can easily follow how his console systems react to the feedback of the car while the simulation is running.